All right. Here. We, whoop. Here. Go. Gonna enter that madness. Entering madness. Time to fight the Shambler. Right. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh shit. Too close. Oh. oh, come on. Ah. Come up, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the hell was that? Oh. I heard that. This dagger looks different. Dab. Uh oh. Uh oh. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. Yeah, go. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Sanders was <laughs> No, right. I just drank it too this much. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. Pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too. You knew. You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. Yidoki.
work with Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Nobody here? Oh, progression. Need to spend some points. Oh, let's see. Let's see. How many points do I have? Going insane. Do this. Oh. Know that. Okay. Where are my points? Oh, I have twenty available. that puppy out. Do some psychology and Leave it at that. How do I validate? Button. Button. Yes. Here we go. That? How do I put that away? There's my medicine pickup. here. I've been here. Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Blood. Seems like amateur work. What was I doing here? Paul left his footprint. A man, probably. No sign of struggle. If the burglar smashed this jar, it wasn't intentionally. Was he hurt, then? What killed all these animals? What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Uh-oh. What the... Charles Hawkins? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Ah! 
Uh-oh. Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Miskatonic University. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Right, so there's a cylinder? Arkham editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this? Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. Arkham? Never heard of them. that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Right, that was two of them. Two and three. Oop. An old diary. Whoever reads these lines, it's sharp as mine. Cylinder is numbered. Three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the. Right. 
cylinders. Oh. I have all of them. One zero three four two. One zero three four zero. Two zero. And this one. I don't know what number that is. Three. Ten, seven, seventy-eight. One. Three. Two. Alright, I got it. One. Two, three. Damn it. Thought for sure that was it. <sighs> okay, let's see. Oh, is there a phonograph in here? That's what I need to do. There it is. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our White Queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our White Queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the Grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. All right. And I do the confess grail. it. I am oh, I can talk to this. The Chalice of Knowledge. Okay. And know its secrets. The Queen has little protection. The Queen. The Queen has little protection. The, the chalice of knowledge. Do rubies and sapphires make up specific Well, I give up. I'm gonna have to look this one up. Fuck it.
Necronomicron. Mother of God. Okay. Oh no, I'm back here. Injected into another body. Am I gonna see I'm gonna be inside someone getting tortured by the the device? Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Did you inject him with a tranquilizer? No, Doctor. Not me, not anyone. Our stock is empty yet again. Again? But there was enough for the whole island. More and more people are suffering from insomnia. We can't refuse to help. Of course. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? Very well. I'll examine him. Thirty-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. Turning into a fish man. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Huh. Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, Doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry that the edema would go away by itself. You Why know, am I here? I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. 
It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. My and this God. transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowardland, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? I've seen suction cups on his fingers, his falling <coughs> body temperature, his dehydration. Had I only read the report, you know what I would have concluded, Doctor. Do I? Tell me anyway. I'm curious. He's no longer human. These are the attributes of an animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Ooh, threatening. Was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? In his office. What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Nurse? Deborah? Come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Station. 
What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? E? What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. Okay. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. By putting an octopus in it. What is the boiler room key doing here? The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. Go grab the it. key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth, evidently because of such drooling. His binds left bloody wounds. So, Doctor, what should we do with this patient? You did good work. The tranquilizer has kicked in. Now you can disinfect and bandage his wounds. Thank you, Doctor. And as to his weight loss? I'll prescribe an antifungal treatment for his dysgusia. In the meantime, feed him intravenously. It'll be done. Dysgusia. Why did nobody tell me about her admission? Can't read it. Oh, Irene Sanders. Mrs. Sanders? Okay. Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Watch out for the water, Doctor. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Oh. Incredible. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. 
And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Dr. Colden? That was weird. Bathroom. She's a witch. An old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. Elizabeth? You all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Hang in there. little time for you doctor you'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do oh wait a minute where do you think you're going dr. Colden mrs. Donovan nobody goes into dr. Fuller's office but rest assured I'll tell him you came by that won't be necessary thank you I will tell him nonetheless okay I have little Bitch. time. Wait a minute. Where do oh. you think you're going? All right. Dr. Cole. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody got rest. That I will. Extract. Oh, I gotta cut off the water. All right, so I gotta go and get the boiler room key. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Thank you. I'll be going. Okay. Alright, gotta get that boiler key. Dr. Colden. Dr. Colden. Oh, hey. Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be- Tell me. I have nightmares. It seems stupid, I know. Actually, you're- No. No one has ever- It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this- It's like an- Do you- I think it might be... I don't know yet, but I... everyone in dark water is suffering from... Really? We don't have any... Oh. There's no excuse. Take care, Ethan. You too, Maru. Oh. I don't hey. get why they have us waiting so long. Almost Where no did my patient... fiancé go? Well, I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Alright, let's get that boiler key. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Uh, now where's the boiler room? Storage room? Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Okay. Surgical. 
Cooler's office. Boiler room. There it is. Just turn that valve. Mm. Oh, she's too mm. weak. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Guess I better go to storage. Yep. Close this. Uh, I can't close it. There we go. Found me a tool. Easy peasy. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Dr. Cole. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody go. But rest assured. That won't be. I will. Uh, okay. Oh, I have to talk to Elizabeth. She's right here. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems... I can't take this. It's not your fault if we have diff... And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to... Courage, Elizabeth. Courage. Here we go. And I'll... Do I have to sit here and wait? Or do I just... Okay. Last. The missing files must be hidden here. The Stendhal Syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. I should go another way. Alright, there doesn't appear to be any files here. I'm searching. Ooh. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. I've unlocked something. Patient files. I was right. Is that all I needed? Here we go. Conclusions. Session number 17. Patient? Sarah Hawkins. Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. Does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I rate that Charles was keeping secrets from him. 
I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. I am prepared. Parkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. I must go back to the basement. Great. Back to the basement. Surgical ward. Exit. How do I get downstairs? In. Do I sit down here? Running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm a. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Oh, no, I'm stuck. We're running out of the. I know, Doctor. Once again. Can't you. Donovan. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. I don't know how to get to the psych ward. I should go another way. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. I go this way? There's no way I'm leaving until I find what Fuller is hiding. Hot. Right. Scour every square inch. Oh, maybe that door there. Door? There it is. This place draws you in and never lets you go. Perfect. Zit. Oh, this goes really deep. Blood. Screaming. Oh, shit. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Oh. No. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. T 
talk, filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? Oh no, my occultist isn't high enough. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go! Rescue the doctor! Rescue you, the Rick. doctor! And fade to black. Chapter 9, and that's where I'm going to end it tonight.